Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 12th of 2024 is titled Red Aurora over Poland. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the aurora in the sky. And if it looks different than what we're used to, usually we see a distinct green aurora. Here we see the aurora as a very red color. Now what the aurora is, is the excitation of atoms and molecules within our atmosphere. Now generally it occurs high up in the atmosphere and is a very green color caused by oxygen and that's oxygen atoms, not the oxygen molecules that we breathe, which are two oxygen atoms bound together, but just individual oxygen atoms. And when those are excited by particles from the sun, then they will glow green. However, there are other atoms in the atmosphere as well. Sometimes we see a red at the very top of the aurora, which is also caused by oxygen. But when it gets down even lower, you can actually get red colors due to due to molecular nitrogen and that is two nitrogen atoms bound together and they can give a distinct red color. However, these are generally lower in the atmosphere. So it typically takes more energy to get down to that level. Usually the particles from the sun are absorbed much higher. So when they get down to a little lower levels, then you may get a red aurora. Now that's because we have had some very strong storms from the sun recently. And in fact, the sunspot group AR 3664 that we looked at yesterday has put out a number of coronal mass ejections that throw material out into the solar system. And some of that material will actually come toward Earth and strike Earth's magnetic field and be funneled along toward the poles. However, when those storms are really intense, they can deform the magnetic field, making the aurora visible at lower latitudes. So a lot of people are seeing these at much lower latitudes than is typical. Usually we're used to seeing them at very high latitudes, but now more temperate zones are actually seeing this because of the increased intensity and activity of the sun and especially due to this specific sunspot group. So there is a chance over today and tomorrow to be able to see the aurora and to be able to see this aurora if you happen to be located at least well enough away from the equator. Equatorial regions still won't be able to see this. But you don't have to be in the far northerly regions to be able to see the aurora right now. The more temperate areas are actually able to see it as well. So here's a chance to be able to view the aurora uh, before this sunspot group, which is now approaching the edge of the sun, flips around to the far side and therefore will not be sending anything in the direction of Earth. However, the sun is approaching a maximum acti of activity, which means that large sunspot groups like this will continue to be around and will continue to form as so that far more aurora are possible over the coming months. So that was our picture of the day for May 12th of 2024. It was titled Red Aurora over Poland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.